In this video, we will learn how to do an ECG. It is a quick, painless and harmless procedure. First explain the procedure to the patient and take consent. Then expose the required area and ask the patient to lie down. Make sure to remove any metallic objects such as jewelry. If patient has thick hair on chest, better to shave them off. Keep the room temperature moderate to avoid shivering. Coming to the placement of the leads, there are 6 precordial leads and 4 limb leads. This is the juggler notch. If I slide my finger down, the first prominence is angle of Louis or sternal angle, where the second rib attaches. Just below is second intercostal space, then third intercostal space, then fourth intercostal space. It is roughly at the level of the nipple. In this intercostal space, fourth intercostal space, just on the right side of the sternum, we apply V1, which is the first precordial lead, V1. ECG electrodes are usually color coded, but nowadays they come mentioned on them to which limb lead it has to be applied or which chest lead it is. Like V1 or V2, it is written on them. First we apply electroconductive gel, then we apply the electrode. And on the left side of the sternum, in the fourth intercostal space, we apply V2 after applying electroconductive gel. It is the clavicle and it is mid clavicular point and in the mid clavicular line in fifth intercostal space we apply V4 and in between V2 and V4 we apply we place V3 and then it is the anterior axillary line it is posterior axillary line and it is mid axillary line and in anterior axillary line in V5, 5th intercostal space, we apply V5. And in mid axillary line in 5th intercostal space, we apply V6. So these are chest leads or precordial leads which have been applied. In the same way, limb leads are applied. In the upper limbs, the metal piece of the electrode is on the volar side and in the lower limb, the metal piece of the electrode is on the medial side. After applying the gel, it is applied to the limbs according to the directions which are written on the lead. So, if a patient has, for example, plaster of Paris on one leg, then we can apply the electrode distally on the big toe. Or if the patient has their one arm or leg amputated, then we can apply the electrode proximally to the stump. Make sure that patient is not touching any metallic object or any metal uh, of the bed or nobody is holding the patient so that they does not interfere with the grunt of the heart then push the button on the ECG machine and the paper comes out remember ECG paper is heat sensitive and no ink is used in ECG machine when the pointer gets heated it produces ECG markings and with time these markings tend to fade away for record keeping ask the patient to save a Xerox copy or a picture of it and make sure to mention the name, date and time on the ECG paper if machine has not already printed it. After completing the procedure, com clean the gel after removing the electrodes and help the patient in getting up and putting the clothes on.